that's spicy. It's always a good day when we're eating chicken. Let's start cooking. Don't you just hate it when you get grilled chicken and it's all dry? And nobody wants dry chicken. It's just bad. It doesn't taste right. It's, it's horrible. And I'm just going to show you how to prevent it. How we're going to make a really nice, juicy grilled chicken. Making really tasty chicken starts with selecting the right chicken. This is a free-range grain-fed chicken, which means it's tasty, it had the time to grow slowly, and it's been fed with something that makes it really fat. And fat means juice. Let's start preparing these chickens. I'm starting by taking off the backbone. There's no meat on it, so I'm using my poultry scissors to cut it out. Once the backbone is gone, I'm going to flip the chicken over and press on it so it becomes flat, breaking a couple of bones in the process. You can also cut these bones, but I just find this method easier. We're going to do the same for the other chicken. By using this method, we make the chicken look good, but not only that, it makes it cook more evenly. You can use these for soup, but if you can make someone's day, that's maybe even better. Ooh. Now we're going to start by making a brine. Use a large tray, fill it halfway with water, then add salt. Stir the water until the salt dissolves and keep on adding salt until the salt doesn't dissolve anymore. Add the chicken and fill the tray up with water. Brining the chicken will make it juicy. The salty water will draw into the chicken because of the osmosis effect. Now that our chicken are prepared, we're going to put them in the fridge. If you ever had juicy chicken in a deep fried chicken restaurant, it's going to be brined for sure. It's like a trade secret of chefs. We'll set it in the fridge for two hours. Then we're going to be barbecuing. We turned on our pellet smoker. This is our Bernhard pellet smoker. And in case you didn't know, they've got their own YouTube channel. I got the link down below if you want to check it out. We set it to a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius, which is going to be perfect to smoke our chicken with. Take the chicken out of the brine and use a paper towel to pet them dry. Make sure you hit all spots so the skin is nice and dry. Flip them around, do it again, do it again. Make sure you clean everything up and then start working on the rub. For a chicken rub, we're going to start with one part salt, a part paprika powder, one part onion powder, one eighth part garlic powder, one fourth part curry powder and one eighth part pepper. Mix that all up and give it a good shake. Then apply it to the skin and flip the chicken around and do the same on the other side and your chicken is ready to go on the barbecue. With our Bernhard smoker running nicely at a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius, we're gonna open up the lid and we're going to place the chicken on with the belly side in first. Now to give the chicken a good look, I'm gonna give it a last finish with our rub just to make sure I hit all spots and any damage that I did to that beautiful looking crust with my fingers is gone. There we go, the birds are looking good. We're gonna close the lid and let them cook until they hit a core temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. And while we wait for our chicken to be done, we are going to work on our sauce. I want an oil-based pepper sauce. So we're going to start by dicing fine an onion and softening it in a pan with a little bit of olive oil. Then we're going to chop fine five Madame Chenette peppers. These are hot. If you don't like it that hot, just do a few less. We'll soften those up as well. Then we'll switch to three bell peppers. Chop them fine. Yeah, I know it's a lot of chopping, but it's well worth it. Put it in a pan and let it simmer down. You want to keep on adding oil so everything fries properly. I think I added around a quarter cup of oil in total here. And when everything is browning and getting to that dark brown color, we're going to add our barbecue rub that we created for the chicken. 
I'm putting in around a tablespoon, but you can season it the way you like. And to finish it off, we're going to put in the juice of one lime. Stir it all up, and when everything is super, super condensed, you know your sauce is done. Our chicken are currently at 72 degrees Celsius. I know that because I'm using a core thermometer. But I also know if I'm going to let them sit here until 75 degrees Celsius, they're going to overshoot. That's why I'm taking them off right now. And there we have it, our juicy chicken. That's how you do it. You brine it, you smoke it at a low temperature for a longer period of time, and then you have a crispy outside, a juicy inside, and overall, a tasty chicken. I can talk a long time about this chicken, but I know one thing that's better than talking about it. Let's give it a try. Chicken. I'm just going to eat. It's been a long day. I just need my chicken. And look how juicy that is. All right, let's start with some chicken breast. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, that's juicy. That's juicy. It's just an awesome chicken. This is the way you make chicken juicy. This is the way you make chicken taste good. Wow. It's so easy. Anybody can do it. You can do it, I can do it, Morrison can do it. Anybody can do it. It's so, so juicy and tender. Um, normally, when you eat a piece like this, it's probably dry. Most of the time, this is the dry part of the, of the chicken. But this, this is amazing. It's wobbly, it's, it's leaking juices. I totally forgot about the sauce. First, without the chicken. I'm gonna eat it like caviar. I have an expensive taste. Okay, so I made the sauce. I know how many peppers went in, and I know Morrison didn't pay that much attention, so... I'm just gonna go all in right here, get a good bite of it, because I wanna taste the flavors. Good hot sauce won't take away the flavor. All right, that's hot. You look hot, Morrison. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. No, I, I want more. That's the weird thing, Paul. That's the weird thing. It's really spicy. It's like with that steak, that spicy steak we made. It was so spicy that we kept on eating. It's the same thing. That's definitely hot. It's not like crazy, crazy hot. You can still taste everything. But it's definitely like, I need, I need a beer hot. You can open it there in the burnout on the side. There you go. Thank you very much. Every, it's kind of hot. <laughs> you know, I look like I'm suffering, but I'm actually just fine. I'm doing just fine. This is, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine, Marsha. Oh yeah, 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 sure. The only time I've had that same dark flavor in barbecue was when we made rangdang. We had a rangdang expert and he had this amazing dark flavor profile. I love that. If you don't like it this hot, or you want a different experience, just uh, put in one pepper or two. If you like, uh, like it like me, and you like a little bit of punishment at the end of a, a good meal, then uh, definitely put in five Madame Chenettes, or maybe 10, if you're up for it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then uh, leave us a big thumbs up and comment down below. Uh, big thank you to our patrons and YouTube members. And, um, Waar staat Oh ja. Eet smakelijk. Ja, de eet smakelijk bars. En? Thank you guys for watching. Eet smakelijk. Keep on grilling. See you guys next time on the den. Cheers. Oh Jesus. I told you. Mm. You thought that I was playing. Um, I do like it. I do like it too. I want more. Thank it's you. clear that we're suffering, but it's also clear that it's really tasty. Mm. Oh dear God.
Did you know what I meant by, by, by the rengang, the mm -hmm. dark flavor? That was a whole idea. They do the same thing in Mexico. It's just oh, a, yeah. a great way to make the flavors pop. We had that dark salsa as well. Yeah, that's the one. I love that. Mm. It's mm. good. It's pretty good. Oh, but it's so hot. <coughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I sniffed it and it went into my lungs. No. <clears throat> yeah. You shouldn't be doing that. Mm. Definitely not. Oh. Mm. Next time we'll do it with Scorpion. No, no. Uh, no Carolina no, no, Reaper. No, 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 no. No. I'm, I'm done with the whole pepper thing. I only wanna. You're eat my pepper peppers. hero. I only eat peppers, not in front of the camera. You're my pepper hero. I look up to you, man.